Assalamualaikum and good morning My name is Muhammad Nizam Azhar bin Muhammad Razif 16DKA18F10 5-6 Today, I want to present about Fluid Mechanic Chapter 7 Fluid Flow The first slide is Energy Loss in a Pipe Network Whenever a fluid flow through pipeline there is no there is a loss of energy of flow the signif signif significant loss is due to fluid friction it also known as major loss the loss due to ab abrupt change in geometry bend valve joint and elbow are called minor loss so the minor loss in pipe the minor losses occur due to a change in the magnitude of velocity. For long pipeline, minor losses loss are small as compared to loss to loss due to friction, which may be neg neglected without serious error. The minor loss of energy may be occur at the following place. Entrance of pipe in a pipe, exit of the pipe, sudden enlargement in pipe, sudden contraction in a pipe, bend and pipe fitting. And this is the diagram of entrance of pipe in a pipe. And we moving on exit of pipe. And this picture show about the sudden enlargement in a pipe. And this is sudden contraction in a pipe. And the last one, pipe bend and pipe fitting. And now we are talking about major loose in a pipe. When the fluid is flowing through a pipe, the fluid experiences some resistance due to which some of energy hit the fluid is lost. Major loss can be defined as loss of head due to pipe friction and to vicious dis dissip dissipation in flowing water. And now we are moving to Darcy wish batch equation the loss of heat or energy in pipe due to friction is calculated from Darcy wish band equation and is given uh, uh, the formula uh, V is uh, average flow of velocity L its pipe length G is uh, acceleration due to gravity D is diameter of pipe and F is friction factor. And then Hagen Poiseuille's equation. The laminar flow, the pipe head loose by friction. HF present by, as you can see, the formula uh, where the, uh, the U the U shape of uh, dynamic visibility V average flow velocity L pipe length P fluid density G acceleration due to gravity and D is diameter of pipe we moving on to loss of pressure heat so HF as you can see the formula uh, the difference of pressure or p1 minus p2 for vicious or laminar flow is given by uh, you can see the formula the, the Reynolds number is less than 2000 and then friction factor using modi diagram 
a coffee chart was prepared by Lewis F. Modi and commonly called Modi diagram of friction factor for pipe flow. The Modi diagram gives the friction factor of a pipe. The factor can be deten- determined by its Raynaud number and the relative roughness of the pipe. The rougher the pipe, the more turbulent the flow is through that pipe. About the Moody diagram, to determine the frictional factor, find the relative roughness value for the pipe on the right, then locate the pipe rail knot number on the bottom, follow on the bottom, follow the relative roughness curve to where it crossed the determined rail knot number. Now at that point, project a a straight line to the left and the number determined on the left is the frictional factor as you as you can see uh, the diagram on the this slide mm, flow through pipe in series when the two or more pipe of different diameter length or roughness are connected in such way that the fluid flow a single flow pass throughout the system the system represents series of pipeline in the series pipeline the total energy loss is the sum of the in individual minor loss and all the pipe friction loss l1 l2 length of pipe and one and two respect D1, D2, diameter of pipe 1 and 2, v, V1, V2, velocity of pipe 1 and 2, F, F1, F2, con, confish of friction for pipe 1 and 2, and H, different of water level in 2 tank. You can see the diagram on the next slide. The the Ber- <coughs> Bernoulli's theorem, as you can see, the formula, uh, the discharger passing through each pipe, same, Q1 equals to Q2, A V A1 V1 equals to A2 V2, the total head loss is H L equal to H L1 plus H L2 plus H L3. Flow through pipe in parallel, a combination of two or more pipe connected between two points. So that's the discharge divide at the first junction and rejoin at the next is known as pipe in parallel. You can see the diagram at the bottom of the word. The flow rate in the main pipe is equal to sum of rate of flow through branch pipe hinge from figure above we have Q total equals to Q1 plus Q2 in, in this arrangement the loss of heat for each branch pipe is same therefore loss of heat for branch pipe 1 equals to loss of heat branch Pipe 2. As you can see the formula at the bottom. So that's all for my presentation of Fluid Mechanic Chapter 7 Fluid Flow. Thank you very much.